Hi everyone, my name is Pratiksha. I'm the artist at Premier Art, and today I'm going to show you how I get brick texture onto a canvas. It's really simple. You could do it using a few materials that you probably have around the house, and it's one of my favorite ways to texturize a canvas. So let's get started. To get started, you are going to need a canvas. I'm using a canvas I already painted on. After that, you will need play sand. I ordered this off of Amazon. Next, you will need paint. I'm using student grade white paint. Then you're going to need a brick stencil. I also bought this off of Amazon. A palette knife or some type of a plier. I'm using an icing spatula. And finally, something to mix in. I normally use a plastic cup, but for this video, I will be using a plate so you can see the consistency better. Now for the fun part, let's start mixing. We are going to combine the sand and the paint. Now normally, I eyeball this until it gets to the right consistency. I want the texture to be firm, but easily spreadable. So I start with about a cup of sand and then I pour in the paint. You don't have to go heavy on the paint at first because you could always add more. You don't want the mixture to be mostly paint because then you won't get that 3D-like effect on the canvas. So I start slow and then I add more paint as I see what the texture is looking like. You will see that it's a bit of a trial and error technique, but there is a large margin for error. It doesn't need to be perfect. You basically want the mixture to be wet, but if you were going to make a peak with your knife or your spatula, you would want that peak to hold its form. Kind of like when you're baking and you're whisking egg whites or whisking heavy cream. Once you have your mixture, now you're going to put the stencil on the canvas and spread your mixture over the stencil. If the stencil moves around too much, you can use blue tape to help keep the stencil in place. Now, what I like to do is spread the mixture all over the stencil first. After it is evenly applied, then I like to create some texture. I do this by taking the flat end of the spatula and I simply touch the sand paint mixture and lift it straight up. You can see why we wanted the mixture to be a little bit more firm so that it could hold its form. If the mixture is too wet, it won't hold the peaks and it will be difficult to get a texture that holds. Here you will see that the mixture holds its form well so we could move on to the rest of the canvas. Now, you can have fun with this. You don't need to apply your sand mixture to the entire stencil. One of my favorite things to do is to actually apply it randomly over the stencil. This makes the overall piece seem less quote unquote perfect and it makes it seem like it's more of a decaying brick wall or an aging brick wall. So you can see for the rest of the canvas, I am going to use some of the stencil, but not all of it. Again, as you apply these layers onto your canvas, you could always go back and add more. Now, I think I have the canvas looking the way that I want it to. So I am going to let this completely dry. You want to make sure it is 100% dry before you paint on it, otherwise you will just smear the sand around and lose the brick pattern that you just applied. And there you go. You got brick texture on a camp. You could do whatever you want from here. You could keep it as it is, or you could apply more paint or spray paint on top. And that's basically it. Adding brick texture to canvases is one of my favorite ways to add some layers, to add some depth or complexity to a painting. So I really do hope that this was helpful for you. Please subscribe as I am new to YouTube, but I will be posting more videos with some helpful art tips. Also add me on social media, which I'll link down below at Art, and I will see you guys next time.